Welcome back everybody. So last week I tried uploading the video of removing this and I could not get it to upload, but this is the clutch spider. I was able to get that off. I just loosened, there is a pinch bolt right up in there. I took that out and just working it back and forth over quite a bit of time, I was able to get it worked out. Now, I am starting to find some damage in here. If you look, there's half of the hole gone that should be with the rest of this part here. So along with that broken piece, we have that broken piece there and a third one and that piece is right there. So only one of four is actually a good piece. With that being said, I'm probably going to end up finding four of these or a complete spider. So I'm kind of going to leave this as an assembly for now. We'll see what I come up with. I'm not sure if that D47U that I looked at will have a similar spider or if they changed. I'll have to get into the parts books and see there. But now we're going to try and pick up where I left off. So with that snap ring there, or that um, just a curved piece of wire really, key is out of there, spider did unthread from here. I believe this disc should be free. I believe this shaft is free. I don't know of anything that's holding it in, but we'll take it one piece at a time here. So I think the next thing to do is to try and get this outer disc out, and then we can maybe break this fiber disc out behind it. More than likely that's junk anyway, after sitting for this long. But let's get started on this, see what happens. I think what I'm going to do is just kind of work my way around, just get a little pressure, maybe use multiple chisels, so we can get some pressure on them inner splines to try and pop this out. Okay guys, that actually didn't go too bad, but as you can see here, Unfortunately, it left a lot of that steel disc rusted to that fiber disc. So, unfortunately, I believe the steel disc will be junk. So we'll be looking for a spider and a steel disc. And depending on what the other side looks like, we might just be looking for an entire clutch assembly. As suspected, the entire disc is coming out in pieces. There's not really a great way of getting it out. We're stuck in all these teeth around here. We're loose in the center and actually you can watch the shaft does move. So we'll just have to keep working our way around, picking that apart. Okay, with the better majority of what's left of that disc down in this pile here, we should be able to remove this. And more mice. So, after looking at this disc, I think we're on the road to looking for an entire new clutch. So as you can see, we have 
fairly deep pitting. A lot of this is bubbled up rust. As I said, it may clean up, but you're gonna have a lot of low spots in there. Over to this one here. It's quite the same story. You know, your disc surface there. I can peel chunks of that off. So back over at the flywheel here. Get this out of our way. So as usual, we have a fold over lock there, 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 and there on those six bolts. So let's get them flattened out, get these bolts out of here, see if we can walk this flywheel out. Well, there's the first bolt that came out. Doesn't look too bad for its age. That should clean up fine. And just to troll Squatch 253, I think there's a fold or two left in that fold over lock there. With all six bolts removed, I think we're ready to see if the flywheel wants to move at all. I don't think we have to worry about the pinion latch. I think once it drops off the hub, we should be all right, but I'm not 100% on that. Let's just kind of see what happens if it gets stuck. Then I know we'll have to go pull that pinion latch out of there. Flywheel is officially out. Don't see grease irks in flywheels anymore. It's kind of an interesting design. And in the bell housing here, back of the crank looks pretty good. We'll have to clean the rest of that mouse nest out. We'll get some gloves and a mask for that. Pull this bell housing off. Pull the oil pan out. But that's all going to have to wait for another video, guys. I'm out of time for tonight. So, thanks everyone for watching. Hitting the like button, subscribing. There's more to come on this. we got to get the rest of this engine stripped down. we also got to get the rest of the chassis stripped down. It's starting to warm up, so that means sandblasting is right around the corner. What do you think, Finn? Time to go inside. How about you, Milo? You ready to go?